Welcome to Mbuya Parent School and Kindergarten, situated in Kampala City with modern well-equipped facilities plus extensive playing fields and amenities. Mbuya Parent School believes that a better future lies where children know how to find and create balances in themselves and the world around them. This explains our fusion of academic subjects and co-curricular activities. There are many opportunities presented to them to flourish both in and outside the classroom. I want to become a president when I grow up. Yeah, I want to be a pilot. I will be the best fashion designer. Mbuya Parent School. The sky is our limit. Hello, our dear learners. My name is Nambi Proskovia. I'm going to take you through a reading lesson, primary one. And this is lesson one. Dear learners, hope we are following the guidelines given to us by the Ministry of Health. One of them is washing our hands frequently for 20 seconds. Sanitize, as you have seen me doing, and observe social distance. We have many guidelines given to us, but I have mentioned a few. In today's lesson of reading, we are going to learn about consonant blends. Before we do that, I want to explain to you what a consonant blend is. A consonant blend, all consonant blends, are two consonants put together to make two different sounds. For example, I have my sound, and you are going to repeat after me. This is sound. Can you repeat? Good. Sound. I also have another sound. K Can you repeat after me? K Good. So if I get these two sounds and I put them together, I'll get a blend, as you can see on the board. This is sound. Can you repeat after me? Good. Now, this sound. When I get that sound and I give it a vowel sound and that vowel sound is Ah, can you repeat after me? Ah, good. This is sound, and this is ah. If I get and I give it a vowel, I will get. I will get a cluster, and some of us we call them syllables, and this is ska. Repeat after me, ska. Good. We also have another vowel sound. You're going to repeat after me. This is a. Everybody, A. So if I get my sound, which we have already learned, that is, and I give it a vowel, that is, sound A. We shall get, sk. We also have another vowel, that is, Vowel sound, E. Repeat after me, E. So, our sound, sk, 
if you put it with E, we shall get sk. Syrabo, sk. We also have vowel. O. This is sound. O. We are going to read our sound again. O. We shall get syrabo. Sko. Then we have the last vowel. This is a. Repeat after me. A. So if we get our sound sk, and we add a, we shall get ska. Now, before we start blending words, let us first read our syllables. Ska, repeat after me. Ske, ski, sko, and ska. So these are our syllables. Now we are going to form words using those syllables which we have learned. We are going to form words. Can we all look here? We said that this is syrabo ski. Can you repeat after me? Ski. When we get syrabo ski and we give it sound, which sound is this, children? Good. Sound. Mm. Sound. Mm. Good. This is ski and this is n. Mm. So we shall get the word skin. Hope we know the skin. Our science teacher has taught us a skin. This is the skin. Can you touch the skin? Good. But make sure you don't touch the soft parts. That is the eye, the nose, and the mouth. So we use the skin for feeling. We also have another word. Can we read the syllable? Ski. Add it with the sound. Sound. So the word is skip. Skip is a verb. It is a doing word. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how we skip. We always skip with our friends when we are playing. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how we skip. This is skipping. So this is the verb skip. We are going to look at the third word. And that is children. Can you read for me this sound? We have already learnt it. Good. Sound. Sk. We add it with sound. E. This is sound. E. So we shall get the word sky. We all know the sky. Which color is the sky? Wonderful. It is color blue. We go to the next word. We have syrabo. Ski. Repeat after me. Ski. Add it with sound. This one is a strong mm. So if this is ski and you add it with sound, mm, we shall get skill. What is a skill? This is a technique of doing things, all a style of doing things. That is a skill. Now, some of you were wondering, why we are beginning with this 
sound or the syllable, it can come at the beginning or at the end, as we are going to see in the next word. In our next word, our sound has come at the end. We have learned this sound, and this is sound ah. Repeat after me. Good. Ah. And this is sound sk. So the word is ask. Can you read the word? Good. Ask. I know some of you are going to ask questions at the end of this lesson. And I know you have been asking questions. We also have our sound, and this is coming at the beginning of the word. Sound, sk. We have learned this sound in class. Which sound is this? Wonderful. I, ara works as sound, ah. So this is sound, ah. Add it with this sound. This is This is sk, a, t, s, a, t. So the word is skat. This is a skat. And it's girls who put on skats. We go to the next word. Now, some of you are saying, hey, teacher, that's a long word. No. Reading is interesting. The moment you master the sound, the syllables, you'll be able to read the word even if it has 10 letters. Now we are going to try it out and you'll see that you can make it, that you can read the word. Let us read this syllable together. Can you read it? Ske. Good. Now, this is sound. Sound, and this is a. So this is syllable lay. Can you say lay? Wonderful, good. This is sound, and this is o. O. So it is syllable to. And this is. Can you repeat? Mm. Good. So this is ske, this is le, and this is to, then mm. So the word is skeleton. This is the skeleton. Don't fear it. It will not bite you. That is the skeleton. We go to the next word. That is... Read for me, we have learned this syllable. Good. It is sk. Syllable sk. And this is sound. So the word is skit. A skit is a short play. We always have skits at school. You act skits with your friends at home. A short play. It is skit. Which syllable is this? We have already learned the syllable here. We have said that this is syllable good. Syllable ska. And remember that this is strong. So if this is ska and you put it with l, we shall get the word skull. What is a skull? This is a skull. This is how a skull looks like. Now, in this next word, our sound is coming at the end. We are going to first read the first syllable, which is, let us first say the first sound. This is sound, 
sound, add it with A, we shall get day. So this is syllable day. And our sound which we have already learned, which is sk. Day, sk. We are going to see how a desk looks like. This is a desk. We always sit on the desk in the classroom. This is syrabo ma. Syrabo ma. M a. M a. So it is ma. Add it with the sound and the word will be sk. A sk. This is a mask. This is a mask. You have one at home. If you do not have, tell mommy to buy for you a mask. Because during this period, we should always move when we have a mask. You put it on and cover your nose and mouth, like this. So this is a mask. A mask. Now, after blending or after joining these words, we are going to read with the teacher. You're going to repeat after me. Skin. Skip, sky, skill, ask, scat, skeleton, skit, skull, desk, mask. After reading those words, now I'm going to give you an activity. And this is the activity which we going to do.